You're listening to KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7, the Event Santa Cruz radio show. Thanks everybody for tuning in. So we have currently in the studio, we have half of our guest, August Sun. Uh, how you doing, Christian? I'm good. How you doing? Good. Thanks. Um, I feel like we've been trying to do this and we're, we're finally here. Yeah. Uh, no, we're really happy to be here and uh, very stoked. Thank you for having us. Oh, great. So no, I, I love your music, so I'm glad we finally got you on. So. While we're waiting for Dan, um, how did you get in the world of music? Like, did you just grow up um, playing a guitar? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess I was always singing as a kid, playing harmonica and stuff, and uh, really started like buckling down in middle school, kind of figured out that's what I wanted to do. And then when I got to college, I kind of had the choice. I was either going to go business or music major. and uh, Those are two very different I things. I know. And I'm good at math, but I don't like math. So I wanted to go music major and just go for it. And uh, kind of went off from there. went to school for a few years. And then when I came out, uh, I was ready to start my own band and start songwriting. Cool. But so does that world of math affect your music career at all? Or your music, like, your not your career, your um, artistic career? talent at all? Uh, I don't know, maybe, um... Like, playing guitar, is, that, is there any kind of, like... Well, you know, there's there's definitely math involved, you know, uh, intricacies in how you play, especially for me, doing yeah. more rhythm guitar stuff in my band, so, uh, yeah, I'd say, I'd say, you know, everything rolls over into something. So you're, you're out of Ben Lohman, right? Yeah, Ben Lohman. So what's up with Ben Lohman? Why is, like, everybody out of Ben Lohman that's in, the, like, the Santa Cruz music scene? Well, you know, as mountain kids, we get bored up there. we got nothing else better I guess to do so, than huh? pick up a guitar. So, um, yeah, you know, we get a lot of good players out there. Jess Daniel, Coffee's Brothers, Henry Chadwick, uh, Taylor, Taylor Ray. Ray. Yeah. Um, and I went to school with all those guys. Oh, really? And, uh, yeah, me and Taylor had music class together. And, no way. Uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. And uh, Jesse was a great above me, and uh, he went to home school with my little sisters. Did and, he have uh, a mohawk at the time? Uh, no, he was. He had a pretty shaved head at the, at the okay. time. But uh, but yeah, you know, uh, I know all those guys pretty well, and uh, and Henry, of course, too. And uh, Cox Brothers are a little older than me, so yeah. Um, I met them a little later in my life, and uh, look up to them a lot. Um, is, um, cool Tyler guys. McCoy is, is was he up there too? Uh, no, I think he's from uh, Mendocino or something. Oh really? Um, but he's just he, like guilt by association. Yeah, he can yeah. He I I don't know the story too well, so I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, you know, make things up that I don't know, but from what I heard, he came from Mendocino, and uh, him and the Coffs Brothers just hooked up, became yeah. really good friends, and that's how he kind of came down here. Man, that guy is an amazing songwriter. He is, and yeah. amazingly a guitarist, too. Yeah. I mean, he picks... Oh, that's true, so yeah. He's such a good picker. It's it's great. No, I've definitely heard him quite a few times. Seems like he tours with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's the most wanted one in town. Yeah. Um, so, how did August Sun come about? Like, how, how did that... How'd that get created? Um, well, I had another project going on for a little bit, but it wasn't as serious as I had wanted. Uh -huh. And so uh, at the time, it was co-writing music with another singer-songwriter. And uh, I kind of came out of it, and uh, I wanted to start my own project with my music. And that's how it started. And uh, it formed and molded and gained and lost people for a long time until it became what it is now, which I'm very happy about And our lineups what I've always wanted, basically. So that's kind of cool. how it started. And so, that was back in 2016. So that lineup includes Dan, over mm -hmm. to the, the, yeah. the right of you. Yeah. How you doing, Dan? I'm doing good, how are you? Cool, thanks for coming. So you're uh, the guitar, like lead guitarist. Drum uh, see, it tells me how bad, like that could be a bass for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I play lead guitar. Lead guitar, cool. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? So they have to run to San Francisco today. So we have such a limited time with them. So I think we just need to get like, straight into the music. Um, what are we going to play? Uh, we're going to play one of our newest tunes. It's not that new anymore, but uh, this one's called Apple on the Tree. Ready? Awesome. Cool. Ready? Tell me the 
summer nights
August Sun on Santa Cruz favorite radio station KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7 the event Santa Cruz radio show man guys I don't know sometimes when I hear music like that like especially live and we always joke around that like we get our own little private concert here that's a lot of talent oh, to come so out much. there man okay. uh, Dan I didn't ask you how did how did you start guitar uh, and you're talking to the mic so we can hear you yeah yeah uh, when I was a kid uh, I grew up loving the Stones and Tom Petty. Cool. And uh, I used to <clears throat> play Tom Petty through my cassette player, and I would pretend like I was part of the band, you know. <laughs> so uh, you know, I just fell in love with Mike Campbell's playing, and and just fell into guitar that way. I started playing at a really young age, probably like six years old or oh, so. Oh wow! Yeah. Are you also from, from Ben Lomond? Uh, I'm born and raised in Santa Cruz, but I live in Felton. Oh, okay. Yeah. Same kind of thing. I feel it's, I feel like it's a prerequisite that mm -hmm. if you're in Ben Lomond, Felton, you have to like Tom Petty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that the case? That's yeah. how we really yeah. connected, me and him. We're just yeah. huge Tom Petty fans. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't you play at a show, like a Tom Petty like tribute show? No. Um, I no. did get to sing with the Cosbrothers, uh, Tom Petty, too, one time. Maybe that's what it was. I, I remember yeah. something like that. that. That's, that's, that's what I meant. Not actually a... Yeah, but uh, I would love to play at a Tom Petty tribute show. Yeah, I mean, me and Dan, uh, when we met, we just vibed off that. Like, me and him just know so many Tom Petty tunes together. It's, it's so fun, and that's why I get along with the Cosbrothers real well too. Cool. <laughs> okay, so um, I want to play some other songs, but you have a couple of shows coming up. You have this weekend. You're playing with the Coffee Brothers, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where? Where's that? Uh, music at Sky Park. It's at Sky Park in Scotts Valley which is a benefit for the uh, Scotts Valley Music Department program. Cool. Which uh, I'm very about because I love helping the youth with music, especially nowadays, you know. Um, Gotta keep so going, yeah. we're playing there at 2.30, opening for them. We're playing 2.30 to 4. And then, um, you know, I'll be sticking around to watch the Coffee Spell the show. Okay, so they, they, like, from 2.30 to 4, you're playing, and they're playing, like, at 4 o'clock or something? Yeah, I think they're playing 4.30 to 6.30. Okay, cool. Okay, and then you have a show coming up with Henry Chadwick? Oh yeah, uh, so next month, September 27th, he's releasing his EP at Mo's Alley, okay. and we're going to be opening up that show, I think we play at 8 or 8.30, um, and that's going to be a good one. Um, awesome, cool. Definitely want to come out for that, Henry Chatterick's a great musician. No, I got, I, I got my tickets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's play you another song. All I'm right. going to try to get two songs out of you, so let's get one more song. In well. This one's called uh, That's My Woman. Okay. Ready? Yeah.
Sun on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7, the event yeah. Santa Cruz radio yeah. show. Thanks, Thank you so man. much. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be so like uh, live radio here, but mm -hmm. you it's 3 30 right now, and you have to you know, go to a show. Do you feel like you have time for one more song, or do you feel like you know what I should get on the road? There's always time for one more song. <laughs> yeah, always. Time. Always. <laughs> okay, let let's get on it. You probably have to drink a lot after that. Last yeah. Song. Um, by the way, this is awesome. I love. You know, we were just talking about some of our favorite performances in the show, and, and this is already up there. So right, awesome! Man. Thank um, you so thanks, much. Man. We really appreciate so, it. So what's the next song? Um, obscene. Obscene. So. All right, this one's called obscene. Ready? Yeah. Yep.
What's your Instagram and Facebook so we can... Uh, uh, so our handle is August Sun the Band. August like the month, Sun in the Sky the Band. And uh, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And uh, give us a follow, everyone help. So thank you all so much. Awesome. Okay, get on your way to San Francisco. Thanks, guys. Exporting yeah. Santa Cruz awesome music to the world. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Yeah. Okay.